One of the biggest freelance platforms, Upwork, has recently published the 10 most in-demand skills for technology, marketing, and customer service in 2022. In this video, we're going to discuss the tech skills that you might be interested in learning this year. Hello, hello guys, I'm Polina Gip, and I have nothing more to say to you this time. <laughs> Let's just jump right in. The first skill is of course good old web design. If a company's e-commerce website is badly built, according to an experienced marketing agency WebFX, 90% and yeah, 90% of buyers will choose a competitor. So yeah, they simply won't choose your product and prefer to buy it from someone else if your website doesn't look good enough. Of course, businessmen know the statistics, they know the studies, and so they invest millions of dollars in their designs. The overall trend is that every dollar invested in web design produces $100 in sales. So it's pretty profitable, as you can see. As a web designer, you'll be responsible for studying design trends and developing attractive drafts using creative softwares like Photoshop, Figma, and so on. Good web designers, however, also know website-oriented coding languages like HTML, CSS, or Java, because they simply regularly collaborate with front-end developers to code each site. In the period from 2019 to 2029, employment of web developers and digital designers is expected to grow by 8%. It's substantially faster than the average for all occupations. So if you're interested in this field, don't miss the train. The next skill is also associated with web design, but this time it's very specific. Making websites on WordPress. How do you like this fact? WordPress powers more than 43% of all the websites out there. 43%. This means that at least one in four websites that you visit is powered by WordPress. So you can imagine how big it is. On a more technical level, WordPress is a content management system, or CMS for short, written in PHP that uses a MySQL database. In non-geek speak, WordPress is the most user-friendly and powerful blogging and website building platform available today. And although there are already so many freelancers offering their services in this niche, the demand is still not met. They definitely need more. So it's a really nice time for you to finally learn this skill. The next one is, of course, web development or web programming. I think you'll see the skills in every top of the last couple of years. And as cliche as it sounds, web developers are still needed everywhere. On Indeed's list of the best jobs, full-stack developers came in second, and professionals expect this trend to continue throughout 2022 and beyond. In 2021, over 2 billion people bought something through e-commerce platforms alone. And e-commerce is only one aspect of web development. Okay, we came to an understanding that web development is a great skill to learn, but this is just one out of many types of developer jobs. And what is something that all the types of developers use for their work? Right, a specific programming language. As you probably know, there are plenty of programming languages available out there. So in its top, Upwork highlights the most attractive languages that you can learn. According to Statista, in 2021, this was the most commonly used programming language among software developers around the world. Nearly 65% of respondents stated that they used JavaScript. This language is used for web development, game development, mobile apps, and building web servers. However, it's very important to note that JavaScript is used to manage the behavior of web pages. With it, coders can create dynamic web elements such as animated graphics, interactive maps, clickable buttons, and more. When doing my research, I saw people calling it a king of the front end. So, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and CSS implies cascading style sheets. Both languages are used for web documents, website development, and website design. These two languages are usually applied in conjunction with one another, so they usually come together. 
You can think of the HTML as the structure for the page, while the CSS gives the HTML its styling, basically the website's accessories. So we can draw an interesting analogy here. HTML is a functioning human body. The website has all of its body parts, although it doesn't offer much to look at, because it doesn't have any accessories or personal style. At this stage, it's also a body that is not capable of moving or speaking. Then, when you link CSS to HTML, it's like dressing up the body. And finally, when you add JavaScript to HTML and CSS, it transforms the body from being a beautiful beautifully dressed mannequin into a real-life walking and talking human being. It animates the body, giving it lifelike qualities and an ability to interact. How do you like this analogy, guys? Let me know in the comments. So finally, what you need to know about these two languages that we just discussed, HTML and CSS, is that they are very approachable and a lot of people start their coding journey with these two. PHP is one of the oldest programming languages still in use. It was invented in the late 90s, and its many uses have kept it relevant to this day. Though PHP is facing tough competition from Python and JavaScript, the market still needs a large number of PHP developers. Those who wish to join a reasonably well-established organization as a back-end developer should consider learning PHP programming. Some of the astonishing features are simple and easy to learn, open source and free of cost, platform independence, and the fact that a Amazing websites like Facebook, Yahoo, and Wikipedia run on PHP. I think everyone knows these platforms, am I right? But for those who don't know, Shopify is simply a web application for creating online stores. So as you can imagine, a Shopify developer is a tech specialist dedicated to building e-commerce stores by using the Shopify platform. This type of work includes proficiency in front-end development, web design, and user interface. Shopify developers also work with the Shopify apps and integrations, meant for inventory systems, payments, and other functionalities needed for delivering a Shopify store. Simply put, these developers have unique insights, development experience, and extensive knowledge about necessarily everything that is required to specialize in Shopify projects. To understand if this skill is in demand today, let's take a look at just three numbers. According to Statista, Shopify is one of the leading e-commerce platforms with 32% market share in the US and 10% in the whole world. Also, there are at least 1.75 million active stores on Shopify. Ooh, 1.75 million, it's pretty impressive, right? Oh yeah, we're actually forgetting probably the most important number. On average, according to ZipRecruiter, Shopify developers earn $93,000 a year. I think it's really good money, <laughs> so this skill is definitely worth your attention. An API developer is someone who works on realizing an organization's API requirements into practical results. But what is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. Before I lose you with a bunch of technical terminologies, let me put it in simple terms. An API is a way for computer programs to talk to each other. Let me give you an example. Have you ever seen a screen like this? I'm specifically talking about this button, which is a Facebook login button. It uses Facebook API to allow a user to verify their identity. So instead of entering your username and password, you just press this button and use your Facebook account to prove that you are who you say you are. I'm sure all of you have used it or at least have seen it at least once. An API is the base of all the apps that deal with data or enable communication between two products or services. Are you still with me, guys? <laughs> I hope that after my example this term is more clear. So as an API developer, or they also call it an API architect, your mission will be to convert the technical and functional solutions proposed by solution designers and business architects to technical requirements and develop them passing the necessary certifications until the release in production of the API. In the past few years, the pandemic drove the adoption and usage of APIs at an even faster pace. And so companies are now looking for skilled API developers to join their teams. Don't miss this chance if you're interested. A good old graphic design. 
I think we all know what it is and for how long this skill is around. There are plenty of graphic designers out there and the competition is pretty intense. But according to Upwork, this is one of the top skills to learn now. So let's ask a question. Why graphic design is still a good career choice? Turns out that graphic designer jobs are predicted to grow at a 5% annual pace from 2016 to 2026, according to the national average for all occupations. The job of graphic designers will continue to be important in product promotion across the economy. Why? Well, simply because graphic design is now considered a commodity on the internet. Many businesses are shifting their focus to establish a more substantial brand presence digitally. And yeah, you might be surprised, but not all of them have done it yet. Yet. That's why the demand for graphic designers will be only rising. Also, as you probably know or can guess, there are plenty of different types of graphic design jobs. UI and UX design, multimedia, logo, game design, and the list just goes on. Of course, some of them will be more in demand than others, but overall it's a very appealing and promising field where you can successfully build your career. It's especially cool for those who have a passion for creativity. So definitely do your research and start exploring this field if you're interested. Which is your favorite tech skill from the list, guys? Or maybe you already have one of the skills that I mentioned. Then please leave a comment below this video and share your experience with us. This might help our fellow freelancers to make a decision about their careers. As I always tell you, let's help each other out and continue the discussion below this video. If you like the information that I shared with you today, but you feel like you want to expand your knowledge on freelance even more, you might be interested in the video that you see on your screens now. Consider clicking on it. But before you do so, please hit the like if you enjoyed watching this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Пока-пока!